Luke, John, Acts, and Romans. First and second Corinthians, Galatians, and Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians. First and second Thessalonians. And now it's first Timothy, then it's second Timothy, Titus, and Philemon. Now it's first Peter, and then it's second Peter. First John, second John, third John, Jude. Revelation. These are the books of the Bible, the wonderful books of the Bible. These are the books of the Bible, the wonderful books. It's a letter from God that sets everyone free, a gift for you, for me. These are the books of the Bible, the wonderful books of the Bible. Alrighty, hello Desert Breeze kids. I hope this online lesson finds you well. This lesson is going to be a little bit shorter, but still very important because our big idea for today is God helps us help others. God helps us help others. In other words, God can use us. And we see, we, we've we been seeing uh, this past series in our help series of how God has been using Moses, even when he was a little baby, to when he was in the wilderness, to even setting God's people free, to now they're just leaving Egypt. And, uh, you know, at this point, though, while they're leaving, they're trapped. But here's the thing. Pharaoh changed his mind saying, nope, I'm going to bring back God's people back to Egypt and put them back into slavery. But here's the thing. We read in Exodus 14, chapter 15, which says, The Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me? Because remember, they're trapped. They're trapped right next to uh, a sea or a body of water, a big body of water, and Pharaoh's army. So Exodus 14, 15 says, The Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me? Tell the people of Israel to go forward. Now, God was going to use Moses to help the Israelites out of this eh, situation. And here's the thing. Moses was faithful to God and allowed himself to be used to help others. Now, let's jump into our video clip for today of um, Moses and the Red Sea. And I would encourage you to read this uh, for yourself as well in Exodus chapter 14. Here we go. Let's jump into our Bible story for today. The final plague had the Egyptians scared, and they urged the Israelites to leave quickly. The Hebrews gathered their belongings and livestock and left Egypt with great rejoicing. To make their departure even sweeter, as this massive sea of men, women, children, and flocks and herds of livestock made their way out of Egypt, the Egyptians loaded them down with incredible treasure. Their centuries of slavery had come to an end. God delivered his people just as he had promised. God led the Israelites out into the desert wilderness. While on their journey, God cared for his people. To help them find their way, he led them in the daytime as a pillar of cloud. During the night, he appeared as a pillar of fire. These columns not only gave the Israelites direction, but also comfort. The pillar of cloud protected them from the harsh rays of the sun, and the pillar of fire kept them warm through the cold desert nights. After the Hebrews left, Pharaoh changed his mind and said, What have we done? We let the Israelites go and have lost their services. Pharaoh commanded that his chariot be made ready, and he summoned more than 600 of his best chariots and officers. As he and his charioteers rode off, Pharaoh's entire army marched behind him. All of Egypt's military was in pursuit of the Israelites. As Pharaoh's armies got near, the Israelites caught sight of them and began to panic. They quickly turned on Moses and asked him, 
Why did you bring us out of Egypt to die in the desert? But Moses stood firm and called upon his fellow Israelites to do the same. Fear not, and see the salvation the Lord will bring you today. You will never see these Egyptians again, for the Lord shall fight for you. Moses stretched his hand over the sea, and the Lord sent a strong wind that drove back the waters until they were parted, leaving a dry path straight through the middle. All the people of Israel went into the midst of the sea, walking on dry land with towering walls of water on both sides. After the Israelites had made some way through, Pharaoh's entire army followed them on the path the Lord had made through the middle of the sea. When Pharaoh's army had made it midway through the sea, the Lord threw the Egyptians into confusion and panic. Their chariot wheels, clogged with mud, fell off or got stuck. The Egyptians began to cry out in terror, Let's get away from the Israelites. The Lord fights for them and against us. Once all the Israelites had made it across safely, the Lord had Moses stretch his hand out across the sea again, and walls of water collapsed, crashing down in huge waves upon the Egyptians. Not a single Egyptian who went into the sea survived. After this mighty display of the Lord's power, the Israelites trusted him and Moses as his servant. God had freed them from slavery and from the attacking Egyptian army. Overjoyed, Moses and all the people of Israel began to sing praises to the Lord. The people sang, I will sing my heart out to God. What a victory! He has thrown horse and rider into the sea. God is my strength. God is my song. God is my salvation. I will praise him always. Through this mighty act of deliverance, God set the Israelites free. The Lord would be their God, and they would be his people. Remember, that story can be found in Exodus chapter 14. And God helps us help others. And we see that how God used Moses to help the nation of Israel escape. Now, here's what I want you to think, DB kids, families, is how can God help you to help other people? How can you show that fruit of the Spirit, if you remember, that love, that joy, that peace, that patience, that kindness, that goodness, and that self-control to others? Because God can help you to help others. And that would be the one thing that I would encourage you. My challenge this week, DB Kids and Families, is to see, look around and see, God, how can I help someone this week? And by doing that, that's a first off a God sighting, but that also God can use you to make a difference to help others. So just know that you can make a difference no matter how old, young, um, tall, short, whatever it may be, God can use you. So that is our story for today. Like I said, it is a little bit more brief for today's lesson, but I would encourage you also go, uh, feel free to uh, get the... Uh, the color, um, the printable for today, the coloring sheet, and feel free to write that and or draw on that and put it somewhere where you can just be reminded that, hey, you can help others. So let's jump into our next part. Our big idea for today is God helps us help others. Now, our monthly verse is this. So let's jump into that. Psalms 121 verse 2. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Psalms 121 verse 2, my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. All right, Desert Breeze kids and families, thank you so much for joining us. Stay tuned uh, for next week, same time, same place. And in the meantime, feel free to check out any events we have coming up this uh, month at dbkids.org events. Hope you guys have a good one.